If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail and I upload daily videos called Thoughts on Confidence because this world could do with more women who are having an input, influence and impact on the world and confidence is the key to helping them do that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notifications button so that you can get your daily boost in confidence. Today is day number 164 and we are talking about being the expert. So I'm here at the Aventir Estate in Stellenbosch and I've just given a talk about building and growing a confident personal brand. So I'm so glad that today's Thought on Confidence is what it is because it totally relates to the past hour of talking that I've just done. And so let's take a look at what it is. You might not be the expert, but you are experienced. Share that. You know, I was just saying now, when it comes to building your personal brand online and also in person, you know, you do, you wanna communicate your expertise. You wanna communicate the fact that you know what you're doing, that you can provide a good service, that you can provide a good product so that people hand over their money essentially. But the fact remains that whatever industry you are in, there's always going to be an expert, you know, the next expert, the next person up, the next person up. Um, the person who claims to be the biggest expert. And we know that that's part of a marketing plan to establish yourself as that expert. And, and so you as perhaps a solopreneur, somebody working for themselves, maybe somebody who is starting out, you're like, well, I know I'm not the expert, so why would somebody buy from me? Or why would somebody trust that I can do the job? But the truth is, yes, there might be somebody who has positioned themselves as the, as the expert in the field, but you still have so much experience, so much of your own journey that you can share. And that right there is valuable. Never discount the value of your own journey and your own story. So many of us get so wrapped up, and I speak to myself here, so many of us get so wrapped up in the fact that, oh, well, I need another qualification. I need another paper that tells me I'm good enough. I need another you know, portfolio, whatever the case might be, to say that I'm worthy of of marketing myself but the mere fact that you have a journey and that you've at least gotten this far and that you know you know what your your clients and your customers are going through because you've been there if you can empathize with them and if you can tell your story of growth and you can share your experiences that is far more powerful and quite frankly that's gonna make me buy into something buy into someone more than their qualifications. Unless we're talking about brain surgeons, then okay, yeah, qualifications definitely need some of that. We definitely want to have the expert working on my brain. But if it's not that, if we're not talking about brain surgery or rocket science, then share your story and, and begin to believe in the value of your experience. And oftentimes, if you're finding that clients are not buying into you, or they are asking for you know, your expertise, like proof of your knowledge, all of that kind of thing. In other words, they are not, they don't see your worth or they don't see your value. Oftentimes that is a result of you not seeing your worth and you not seeing your value. So the responsibility is yours to believe in the value of your experience. And even if there is somebody who is the leader in your industry, and you might be miles away from that, you still have a story to tell. You still have value. You still have experience that you can lean on. And you can still share that. And, and when you do that, that's what's gonna resonate. Think about it. I mean, how I've started to experience it is that they seem so far out of reach. They are so far away from where I am right now that they won't get what I'm going through because when they were where I am now, 
that was so long ago they can barely remember it so how are they going to be able to resonate how are they going to be able to relate so what I've started doing is is looking out for the people who are three steps ahead of me five steps ahead of me maybe ten steps ahead of me but somebody who is a thousand steps ahead of me they don't know what I'm going through they can't relate to what I'm going through and so their advice is gonna be just I'm not ready for their advice I need somebody who's giving me advice that is relevant to where I am right now and you could be that person for somebody so take some time and reflect on that value that you can add just because you are, are three five or ten steps ahead of the person behind you so that's my thought for the day I hope it resonates with you if it does please let me know in the comments below and as always give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button and share it with a friend of yours who might be going through similar self-doubt so until tomorrow have yourself a fantastic day whatever you do do it consciously do it confidently and i will see you again tomorrow